Moomer Mage here and welcome to a beautiful day on Nimbatus. I must show you my new drone. This drone is excruciatingly exciting and it has a reason to be exciting. Very big reason to be exciting. All of this is nothing to me now. Literally means nothing. As you can see, there is my normal drone stuff made so far. And then, wait, where is it? There it is. So, these are my normal drones so far. And then there's this. Which, let's just go right in and show you guys what it does. It has so much power for a reason. And its reason is valid. Very much so. Shields up. Now, let's see when they start arriving. Enemies, yes! Die! <laughs> and this is why it's called Bullet Hell. Because it literally unleashes a rain of bullets on everything below it. <laughs> everything around it. And the shotgun but also scatter shots. So the bullets that are actually returning is the cluster uh, is the bullets exploding after a certain distance and then actually firing back which is making this thing so overpowered. And then I have large uh, long lasers down here that are meant for mining purposes and I also have uh, the other two lasers at the top for mining purposes above. Which is uh, quite an interesting design, I must admit. For something that I made this thing's functioning very well. And look at the power. I'm barely even using all that power. I'm barely even feeling this planet. I've, I've been able to kill things off screen. Which is quite scary. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is like a Death Star, except worse because it fires in all directions. And it's all thanks to these uh, stationary shotguns. If you're wondering why they're all pointing inwards, that makes it the spread a bit better. And also makes it so I can fill an entire full circle with ease. Shield. The reason why I have this much power is so that I can run the shield constantly. Because if the shield goes down, this thing will take a lot of damage. And I do not want it to take a lot of damage, because if it takes a lot of damage, kind of in a bad spot. And this is one problem it currently has. It has a problem with fuel. Ah! I completed it! By just sitting here... Uh, of mining I can do with just the shotguns. I don't even need everything else. Everything else is just extra. Shotguns are, are everything in this, this spot. This drone. Which is hilarious to think about. This thing is this overpowered already and I still believe there is more powerful weapons out there. That is scary. Okay, so we reached the center of the planet. Let's see how far we can hold this thing out. I am the core of the planet. And today it is cooler, which is making things nice, and I have a cup of coffee, which is very nice. I enjoy coffee very much. Now, let's, let's start flying this thing around a bit. Should start rotating itself, testing it out. Fuel is actually one of my main problems. Even though I got so many fuel canisters on here. Wait, I still have fuel. Why, why did I fail? Why, why did it not work? Why wouldn't it fly? Probably because I don't have enough fuel to run all these engines. Or the problem was the same thing. Oh, I've actually emptied the interior of this planet, mainly. Every now and then you can see like as a, like a piece of 
actual planet just passed by. But further than that, I don't see it. Like there. In that direction there's quite a bit. But everything else is just gone. This is scary, it's like I'm in space. I'm I'm, I'm in a dark sector, void. I'm in the void. With a ship that's just bombarding everything in blue bullets. That is one scary ship, I must admit. Wait. Number of shots. It's already firing five shots, but it's got number of shots as well. I have to test that out now. Let's just put it on my basic... Oh, no, no, no. I can't... Ah... I had to click on start, I was supposed to click on edit. But in any case, that was a really good design that I found out just today, in fact. I think it was about an hour ago which I came up with that design, and uh, it took me about a half an hour to build it, which was hilarious. Half an hour to build something that is destroying everything. These are towers, so they should towers rotate while like these, if I place one of these down, they're just shotgun. They don't say tower or anything. Towers rotate so towers can shoot everywhere. Quickly enter test. That's a lot of bullets. <laughs> I've only had this on those uh, scatter shots as well. That would have made this a lot better. Because that's almost a full section. That, that, that is enough to kill anything this way. That is actually remarkably scary. Granted, they, they appear to be really heavy though. But this could also work if I can somehow lock them in specific directions. Then I can actually have them all connect up to the same key, and I click them, and then I just fire a spread of missiles. Yeah, I need to look into that. Let's see what type of logistics we have. We have logic connectors that wireless connect other things like drones to your main thing. You've got logic separators for making drones <coughs> and then you have impulse giver. I not, I'm not sure what that is. It probably gives your drone some of your speed or something like that. Switches, or gates, and gates, not gates, if gates, and the button. Buttons uh, actuate the output key. But the problem is a button. You, you in any case set them to a button. But no, let's just see what it does. Uh, maybe no, it's just actuate output. We set that to numpad one. And I set these to say numpad one. It's gonna happen once a minute. So it just locks it on. But as you can see, these shotguns are really interesting because they they actually like blast away from the body. So they actually have a lot of recoil. Which makes it very, very interesting. But in any case, that's that. This is this. And let's go farm up some new stuff. With this crazy drone of mine. Oh no no, I wasn't supposed to launch it. I was supposed to go to another planet before launching it. I also mined up quite a lot of uh, resources and then bought a couple of stuff. But the ones I buy don't appear to be as good. I think I actually bought these shotguns kind of discredits my entire thing I just said, I know, but still. Normally. 
Normally they're not as good as the things you can grind up. But sometimes you get you get lucky and you get like really good ones. But sometimes they they have they've got more stuff or <clears throat> upgrades and start blasting everything to bits. This is why this thing is so overpowered. Because it can go straight through mountains and not give. Not have a care in this world, really. The only thing is fuel. So I gotta constantly be moving. Come on up, guys. Don't mind that, yes. This is the one one thing I just want them to change a little bit. Just the, the mining drones need to be a bit more either a bit more smart or just <clears throat> you can aim them with your mouse or something like that. Granted that won't mean that you can get them in front of like shots and stuff but still kinda bugs me that you can't easily mine. Mining takes a bit of work. By a bit of work I like I mean just waiting for them to actually figure out where they should be in order to mine. Ooh, I already found that. Blasted. Literally nothing can approach this this ship for one specific reason. They're dead. They don't stand a chance because they're already dead before they even get within a screen of it. Because all those bullets cluster right outside the screen. Which is Remarkable, I must admit. Well, let's leave. A shotgun that has sticky bullets, less recoil, and bullets. And is bioweapon. Don't really care about bio as much. Don't really know what the best, like, weapons are. Oh, this is like a linear. Oh, it's like one tendril. I know it gets. I don't, I don't really know how to work out the difficulty, because sometimes it gets harder the further you are from the center and then it gets easier, you never know. Ooh. That is a nice big green spot. I, I still don't actually know what that means. I'm assuming that is the ore, like the, the money that you have, the currency. Air resistance high, risk level medium. Gravity normal, that's that's fine. Let's take out this thing. Uh, granted, it, it, there is no hives on this planet, but still. This thing is still the best I have. It's not very fast, but it's very pretty. And I can run the shields constantly, which is hilarious. You just watch them drain, these inner batteries. These are just the shields that are draining the batteries this quickly. Oh, seriously, already? Let's kill it with the laser. Never mind, the laser is a bit weak. As you can see, I have three thrusters at the bottom. Three of the large thrusters at the bottom. And I'm still struggling to actually get myself off the ground. But we found some ore here, so I'm happy. As happy as it can be. I feel like a literal space miner right now. A cup of coffee, stuff like that. It's awesome. <clears throat> now let's mine my way in here. Actually, there, there shouldn't be much in here, because they did say low um, resource mount is low so ooh that opened up a large area a new shop I was hoping for a sumo actually let's go check out this new shop though this is a very accurate long-lasting bullet that is EMP 
think actually the shotguns that we're currently using cost 5,000, which is kind of scary. <clears throat> Sticky bullets, fast attack rate, bullets, plasma. Nah. Long beam, reflective laser, digging upgrade. Eh, not really that good, actually. Hey, I unlocked two more shops. Off of one shelf. See what this guy has. Attractive beam, so it pulls things in. It's more energy efficient. Oh, crap, I need to. <clears throat> I've been a bit sickly. So, sorry if I, if I start coughing, go into coughing fit or something like that. I'll just cut it out. <clears throat> but still, I, I've been kind of sick and not really in good shape. Needs energy to work. Of course it needs energy to work. It's a tower. It's got lasers, uh, split lasers. Which is the thing we just saw earlier in those blue lasers at the bottom of my ship. In any case, they split when you touch ground when they when your laser touches ground, which is quite nice. It's got long laser and energy beams. Not really good. Double particle gravity. So I'm assuming this makes it a gravity pulls the particles. More. There's a sumo match. There's a sumo. Been wanting to record. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of engines. It's a lot of engines. I set up my sumo bot against it. It's also got a lot of engines. Nope. Not that much. <laughs> Let's make a new sumo bot, because that one's a bit, a bit interesting, mm -hmm. on the interesting side. What I could do, <clears throat> wait, let me first get a bunch of fuel tanks in here. Create a central backbone of fuel tanks. Okay. I'm going to make that forward, but the thing is, I need them to be fully autonomous, which is kind of the problem right now. So fuel, well, engines. We have to add in a bunch of engines. Let's add in quite a few engines and then Start making it look a bit better. So currently, it's just a long tube. Filled with engines. Cup it out. There we go. Now, let's copy this one. Connect it to there. There we go. <clears throat> that should do it. That should be enough engines for now, anyways. Now I need sensors. One sensor to front with preferably max. Let's set it to enemies. Detection event. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one, set most of these to forward. Which I'm going to universally make W. Now, let's see here. Most of them should be W. Except for some of them. Which I'm going to be adding almost now. Close to now, anyways. Now, what I want to do, I don't need weapons. What I need is I need one of these turned upside down. Actually, need that right over there. 
So let me move that over there. Attach that one to over there, then attach this one to over here. Place on the side there. <coughs> Q, E. Q is right side, E is left side. Now, in order to give it the mo directions, I'm going to be using my normal system. Just add it like that, that's a bit quicker. <clears throat> okay. Then this would be E, and this would be E, and this would be Q, and this would be Q. But then this needs to be like this. I just have a test me. How to correct itself. It's a bit wobbly though. Because of its length and not having backbone on the edges here. It just broke itself apart. That is scary. That that I did not expect. <clears throat> now, going to need a couple of more sensors for rotating this thing. All set it to max distance and tell it to do a Q. Tell it to do Q. Okay. Over here, about the same angle. But it's that one. Just gonna to make it about there, because otherwise it's gonna bug me. <coughs> oh, down E. E is that way, and Q is this way. Good. So that should allow it to turn relatively well. Now, I need a way to stop it from shaking itself apart. What I need to do with that is actually split up the engines just a slight bit. Perhaps do the engines in stacks of two. Something along these lines it might work a bit better. Because I think it might be like because they're they're like uh, connected to each other <clears throat> I don't know how to explain it you do it like this now they're connected to each other so they should move in unison okay now let's move these a bit back <clears throat> give these sensors a bit of space uh, this could also be a place where I'm having some errors. It's also remarkably going to shrink it a bit down. Shrink it down and make it a bit more pretty, I suppose you could say. It's fine. It's still unstable at the front. Back is a lot more stable. I think it's because it's all connected to the same one, maybe. Let's try connecting up like this. A lot more stable. Yeah, it's a lot more stable. Uh, this thing is not going to write it, auto write it upwards when it's being controlled inside of the sumo race. Now, what I want. <coughs> from one of these to be almost all the way out here right how how much in diameter is this thing though that is the question can I save it and can I still use it let's first see if this thing can't win that oh. I don't know how to get those to work from the start. Oh yes, and I also forgot to set up my, my forward centers. <clears throat> that is a problem. Let's try it one more time. Geez, yeah, you see, they're they're a bit more powerful. So what I need mine to do. 
Ah, I know how I'm gonna do this. I actually know how I'm gonna do this. Instead of doing it like this, I should do it like this, but a much smaller craft. All I need is enough speed to get out of the way. Okay, now let's test it like this. Now it should turn, but I need it to actually get out of the way of that one. So I need to edit it. So when this one is touched, it should go forward. Now it's going to turn and it's going to try and get out of the way. I just need to correct my sensor so that it can detect on both of them. Oh no, I just went out. Why did I just do that? Okay, so what I want is I need to edit this one, then move it forward a bit. Instead of this one and move it like this, also set it to W. Because it, when when your opponent has a lot of speed, what you want to do is you want to avoid him. Have him throw himself off the ring. Practically. But the problem that I see is I'm not turning far enough to avoid him. Before I start going forward. Now what I could do is use these to jerry-rig these a bit more forward. Okay, start bound. Now it's not helping. It's I'm not turning fast enough. That's the problem. Need these to be connected over here. I know it looks weird, but technically speaking, I sh might. I'm getting closer and closer to actually winning this. With each design, I'm getting closer to actually winning. Now I need these to be on their max extension over here, so that I can increase my rotational power, but I need more forward thrust as well. These won't help me much, they, are, they, they do work very well, but not on this, it does not work over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Okay, so that should increase. I can now actually increase it a lot easier. Save that and select it and send it off to battle. Oh. You can apparently destroy your enemy. Okay, so he is constantly hitting my fuel, apparently. Is, is that what happens? It would appear that it happens whenever he hits my, my fuel. Or just crushes my entire ship. Because let's just face it, it is pretty flimsy. <clears throat> now yeah, this, is, this episode is turning out way too long, but I want to correct this. I want this to work. Okay, so now it turns still a bit slow, it's a bit sluggish on the reaction speed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I set it up so it constantly turns for a while. Then I need it to be a bit more tougher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach blocks to the center over here and place them on the top here, that should technically 
Make me last a bit longer. Ooh, that, that did help. A ton. Uh, I think... I don't know, I just went back again. I need to cut some of this out. As I'm perfecting it. Now, it should turn slightly quicker, or, or what I could do is rework this entire thing into a dart. It's meant to pierce straight through it and touch the center. Because that should also work, but what I could do, in order to help it, And now let's try that. I accidented out of... Wait, I won? I won! <laughs> that was a really weird design though. Oh yeah, I could have just made my entire ship just rotate backwards actually. But I'm winning, winning, which is stupid. Well, in any case, that's that. That's all, for, all I have for this episode. See you guys next one, and hope you liked it. Goodbye. <laughs>